the question over here is we have to identify vertically unfavorable fracture from the images that are available option a b c and d so fractures of the mandible depending upon the way we view them they can be classified into based on the v angle of viewing they can be classified into horizontal and vertical in the sense when we say horizontal that means the mandible is placed horizontally it is not about how we view it but how the mandible is placed so basically over here the mandible is placed horizontally and that is why this is called as a horizontal fracture whereas over here you're looking at the patient the mandible looks more vertical and that is why this is called as the vertical fracture okay so based on the mode of action and when we say what is a favorable or an unfavorable fracture is if the fracture is able to reduce itself that is if it is a self reducing fracture then it is called as a favorable fracture whereas if it is not unable to do so it becomes an unfavorable fracture so horizontal can be favorable or unfavorable vertical also can be favorable and unfavorable so what happens is how do we identify whether a fracture is a vertical a favorable or an unfavorable fracture is it depends on two factors one is the mechanism or the physics of the muscles that act on the bone and the second is the line of the fracture that is the direction of the line of the fracture so as we know the in the angle region the mandible has provides insertion to two muscles on the lateral aspect it provides an insertion to the masseter whereas on the medial aspect it provides insertion to the medial pterygoid so both the muscles help in upward pull that is closing of the mandible so if they are involved in closing of the mandible they are going to be pulling the mandible upwards so this is the direction of pull in such a case if the line is also in the direction of the pull if the fracture line is also in the direction of the pull of the muscles the fragments can very easily separate and it is very going to be very difficult to reduce them and in such cases we will have to do an open reduction so this over here if the pull is in this direction if you see there is closure of the fracture space because the fracture line is going to be closed by the action of the muscles over here you can do a closed reduction that means you do not have to do a flap and open up and then place a, a bone plate you can do a closed reduction with maxillomandibular fixation whereas this is an unfavorable fracture horizontally unfavorable fracture and over here you will do an open reduction similarly now when we are viewing the mandible vertically now again it can be favorable or unfavorable this depends upon the action of the medial pterygoid only okay and this is attached again like i said to the angle of the mandible medial as well as lateral pterygoid sorry not only the medial but as well as the lateral pterygoids so if the if this is your tooth and this is say the angle of the mandible if the line is like this that means that this is one fragment and this is the second fragment the medial pterygoid is going to pull the mandible like this so if it is going to pull the fracture line is going to reduce itself so this is a vertically favorable fracture whereas this is a vertically unfavorable fracture because you can see that there is further separation of the two fragments of the mandible as a result this would require open reduction whereas this over here would require closed reduction so the answer over here for a vertically unfavorable fracture would be option b